Shalom friends, and welcome to another edition of Family Fun Time with the JMM. I'm Laura Grant, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the program coordinator at the Jewish Museum of Maryland. Do you know what major world event is taking place right now? It's the 2021 Summer Olympics which this year are scheduled to take place in Tokyo, Japan from July 23rd until August 8th. There will be 339 events across 33 sports at this year's games. And there are six new sports this year. They are karate, skateboarding, sport climbing, and surfing, and then baseball and softball, which were previously cut from the Olympics and were brought back this year. Do you have a favorite sport that you always enjoy watching at the Olympics? If you could compete in any Olympic sport, what would it be and why? And do you play any sports now? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I know personally, I always enjoy watching gymnastics at the Olympics because I did gymnastics when I was younger and it brings me back to those days. In honor of the Olympics, let's play a round of trivia to test our knowledge of Jewish Olympians. Think you have what it takes? On your mark, get set, let's go. First question, approximately how many medals have been won by Jewish athletes at the Olympic Games between 1896 and 2018? What do you think? It's 450 medals, which is quite a lot. Next question, swimmer Mark Spitz held the record for winning the most gold medals at the Olympics until a new record was set by which of these athletes? It was broken by Michael Phelps. Mark Spitz actually won seven gold medals at the 1972 Summer Olympics. Dara Torres is the most decorated female Jewish Olympian of all time. Which sport did she compete in? She competed in swimming and she went to the Olympics five different times. Marty Glickman was a track athlete who faced anti-Semitism and was denied the chance to compete in the 1936 Olympics. What career did he go on to have? He became a successful sportscaster. What is the name of the Jewish American gymnast who competed in the 2012 and the 2016 Summer Olympics? Her name is Allie Raisman. And I think there's a bonus question about Allie. What song did Raisman perform her floor routine to at the 2012 Olympics? She performed to the famous Jewish folk song, Hava Nagela. How many members of the U.S. rugby team from the 2016 Rio Olympics were Jewish? There 
there were two members on the team that were Jewish that year. Julie Zetlin was the only American competing in rhythmic gymnastics at the 2012 Olympics, and she's from Maryland. Where in Maryland is she from? She is originally from Bethesda. In what year did the first Jewish person win a gold medal at the Winter Olympics? It was in 1932. Speed skater Irving Jaffe won two gold medals that year. Thanks so much for playing. I hope that you learned something new and had fun as well. How did you all do at trivia? I think you all are winners. So to celebrate, let's make some medals together. Competitors at the Olympics are awarded either gold, silver, or bronze medals, depending on how well they do at an event. And it is the responsibility of the host country to design that year's medals. To make your medals, you'll need some plastic lids like this, some construction paper, paper glue, scissors, ribbon, and craft supplies like markers or colored pencils. To start, take your lid, place it on your sheet of paper, and trace the outline of a circle. And then go ahead and cut your circle out so that you have something that looks like this. This will be your metal. Then use your craft supplies, your markers, your crayons, your colored pencils to decorate your metal. And think about what kind of designs you want to put on it. Maybe you want to add Olympic symbols like the Olympic rings or the torch. You might include elements of your favorite sport or words or phrases that inspire you or make you feel proud of your accomplishments. After you've decorated your metal, use your glue or tape to attach it to the inside of your plastic lid. Then cut a piece of ribbon to a reasonable length where it's comfortable to wear around your neck like a necklace. My piece is about this big. Then you'll attach your ribbon to your metal, forming a loop so that it creates a necklace so that you can wear your medal. I have a completed medal here. On mine, I put the Olympic rings and I wrote go for gold for encouragement. And then I can show it off and wear it. I'd love to see photos of your medals and you can share any photos by sending them to lgrant at jewishmuseummd.org. You can find instructions for this craft as well as other activities that you and your family can do throughout the Olympics on a blog post that's on our website and it's linked in the description box below. Make sure you also follow along with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as we share posts related to the Olympic Games and invite you to share your own connections to the games and to sports in general. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon and enjoy watching the Olympics. Bye.